Wow, I can't believe we missed that. That's like the most important milestone in this whole damn game. <laughs> we missed it. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. As you can see, we just learned the Tier 2 tree spreader. Uh, I decided I'm not going to do anything off camera. We're just going to start the next episode and keep on going because there's just so much going on right now. And um, that's a good thing, of course. Uh, we just we massively boosted our O2 in the last episode, if you didn't see it. And it's just skyrocketing in us. Um, you know, um, and we're, we're like 79% of the way to breathable O2. We will probably hit that in this episode. Almost certainly we will. And that's just going to be one of those huge, huge milestones. Uh, all right. So let's see here. We have tier two tree spreaders and we have tier three ore extractors that we need to get in place. I told you guys though, that we were going to do an exploration episode a couple episodes ago and we never got to it, but I think since we're so close to the next terraformance uh terraformation stage anyways which could just boost us for a little bit better loot i think we will wait until we get into the oxygen stage to do that and then we will go exploring i promise you that we will um because um and, and we'll be able to do it and breathe <laughs> we won't have to take o2 with us uh, which will make it even better uh, all right so i think what we should do in this episode is focus primarily on changing out our ore extractors so let's take a look and see what we need um all right yeah the first one we're gonna do is going to be for osmium and i have just enough to make an osmium rod how about that just barely enough oh except for shit i can't make osmium rods yet mm, okay how far away is that that's, I mean, it's not seriously far away. You know, what sucks too, is I actually had an osmium rod that we found in loot and I, I broke it down for the Oz itself. That's a damn shame. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe what we do then is we focus on upgrading to, All right. Well, hold on. Let's think about this for a second. If we. No, oh, yeah, never mind. It's not about not having the osmium. It's about not being able to make the rod itself. That's right. Okay. Well, why don't we focus then on um, upgrading to the tier two tree spreaders. And we'll just wait for this to... to I mean, this is going to happen quickly, man. Look how fast that's moving. That's going to probably happen in 10 minutes. Uh, and then, then maybe we will go exploring just because of the fact that we need more osmium rods um, and we're kind of stuck at least in terms of the tier three uh, spreaders until then it might not be a bad idea for us to do a little bit more boosting here we could do a plants some plants boosting and a little more um, pressure boosting not because we need pressure anymore for blueprints but we do still need it for just general ti um but let's let's work on the tier two plant thingies first. So what do these require? Uh, tier two tree spreader. Okay. So we currently have, I th think we have four of those. No, we have six of those. All right. Yeah. We have a total of six of those. It might be a good idea for us to start swapping out until we can loot some more, of course, start swapping out our uh, golden flowers from our, our flower spreaders too. So we can continue making those really good tree seeds. We already swapped all the ones out of here. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go to this flower spreader first. We'll swap those two out. The other cool thing is we'll get some different colored flowers in the yard, which was always a nice thing. Um, I think I have a tree bark already waiting in here. I do, and the mutagen too. Look at that. Who's prepared today, baby? 
Don't expect me to be prepared tomorrow, though. Okay, so we got that done. Um, oh, we got more bees, too. So let's grab them. Let's get a second hive going. Uh, we'll do that first, actually. Super effort and a bio. Plastic. Uh, fertilizer. And we'll grab the supers from down below here. I don't think I have any loose super left. We could break down a rod, or why don't we actually run over to our other... We have two other places that are producing super. One is directly mining it, and the other one is producing it from basic ore. Maybe we should run and grab that stuff. Uh, okay, so put all the osmium back in here. I'm like all over the place. Stick those in there. Let's run. Yeah, let's run and grab the super out of that extractor way over there. And then we'll stop and get the super out of the extractor uh, production thingy over there. And then we have four T1s to sw swap out. We have two, uh, well, six if we swap these out but you know what I might I might leave those there just because we got some different you know some variety in the trees and we'll just focus on that one spot there for now I think that's what we'll do here comes the rain Okay, what do we got going on in here? We have one super and one rod. All right, so you guys are short something. Uh, iron, cobalt, looks like you're short silicon and titanium. Okay. And there's probably none of that in here either. Oh, no, th there's it's silicon, that's what you're short, okay. Well, let's put all of these ores in here. And give that a chance to produce some more silicon. All right. Let's head back to the base. We've got um, a decent, de decent supply of super plus a rod, which is basically eight more super if we need to break it down. We're going to go explore up on top of the uh, the maze because I think there's um, some vines that we can use to get up there. I've never been up there before because there's never really been a way to get up there until now, which is cool. Just curious to see what's going to be up on top there. I guess I'm pretty sure I saw a vine over there for that. What just happened? Oh, you produced a rod. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't want you to do that right now. Let's just turn that off. I want loose super. All right. So that gives us everything for the next beehive. It does. All right. We'll just set this right out in front here. I may, like I, I, th I think I told you guys earlier, I may end up moving these later. But uh, we'll just keep them there for now. And I'm just keeping the honeycomb in the miscellaneous bin for the moment because there's no other home for them yet. Ninety-one point nine percent. No, ninety-two percent. We're getting close. Okay, so um, did we get the next golden flower uh, made up here? Let's grab some more bark, because we know we're going to need it up there. Yes, we did. Okay, let's put 
There's our high quality food. Nice. So we can already we can make two of those because we have two honeycomb. Uh, let's put this in here. Let's grab another mutie. That's a 350 multiplier. Whoops. What am I doing? Get in there. 25. Yeah, all these golden seed trees that we can make are way better than those in terms of multiplier. And that's the main reason why we're doing it. Later on, we'll probably do trees for more for decorative purposes, make a nice little forest with a bunch of variety of trees. But right now we're just doing it for the production value. Um, okay, so let's grab a here. Actually, while we're up here, let's for, uh, refresh these. Once you get drones, you can have drones do that too. But then once you get a tier two gas set up, then you don't need, even need to do that. Um, if we switched you over to mutagen and we just, we don't really need muties yet. We're doing good. Um, we still have almost a full bin of furt. What do you, oh, I don't think we have silicon for fertilizer, uh, tier two fertilizer. Okay. So there isn't really much, I, I guess... Yeah, let's let's just have you make mutagen so you're doing something. See now we could also have it do this, but are those bee those bee fives are probably out of range, right? Yeah, they're out of range. Where could we move those closer? Hmm. We I don't think we can because they have to be on the ground. We'd have to make another biolab. We could, we could put a biolab over here. There's no rule that says we can't do that. Okay, you know what? We don't need the food right now. Let's wait. Let's wait. You know, we're at that point where we've got 89 different things to do. And, you know, we, just, we can only do one thing at a time. Just that's all the all there is to it. Especially me, because I suck at multitasking. Oh, do we have another... I think this is just going to be a normal... Yeah, this is just a normal storm. Not even a, a normal meteorite storm. Did we get another uh, seed started here? Don't remember. No. Okay, so we need to get a golden flower... And swap it out with a Tusca. Uh, we need to go this way. I'm getting turned around in my own base. It's not the first time. Wouldn't be the last. Uh, let's grab a Tusca out of here. And we'll swap out with the next uh, flower spreader, which is you. And research. Okay, so we need we need to make five tier two tree spreaders for what we currently have. Well, once that's done, we're gonna need six. Can we do that with our current resources? That's the question. I think we can probably make that happen. Well, here's the other thing too. If we take the normal trees spreaders down, we get some of those resources back. In fact, most of them. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's just go take down the four that we have. We'll have a momentary pause in oxygen production, but that's okay. Again, we're going to leave those there for now. I'll switch them out later when we really want to start to build this forest up and make it look badass. So we'll grab all of these out of here. That give us everything we need to make the first one? No, because we're going to need to get tier two Furt and Zeolite. Okay, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. 
You never know about those uh, machine optimizers. If you don't tell them to stay put, they might run off on you. It's been known to happen. Nowhere to lie. And if you buy that, it's got some oceanfront property for sale in Colorado. Okay, anyway, uh, we don't need the bioplastic, so we recycled that. That's great. We'll use that for other things, I'm sure. Um, we need we need the bacteria and the bark and the supers, which we have. Okay, so we just need some tier uh, two furt. Let's grab six. We'll put the normals back in here. Mm, I hope I have six zeolite. Yeah, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to need one more super. One more bark and one more bacteria. Uh, it's also my plan to get our butterfly dome set up today, too. If we can get to it. Just so much to do. Um. Okay, here, let's do a sort. So we have... We need six bark. All right, we need six super. We need six bacteria, but we're not going to have enough room. Yeah, uh, uh, and we won't have enough room for that and the seed. So let's do five for now, and then we'll... Come back to do the sixth one. Oh, just for, well, yeah. Just remember we had three something million. Do I still have my photo from before? I don't remember. Yeah, uh, I don't have that photo. So we had like three something million uh, oxygen earlier. Oh, right. These don't need to be in the water either. I completely forgot about that. Um, okay, well, let's start. Well, they don't, we still have to keep them fairly close together, though, because of the optimizer. It does have a range limit. But they don't have to be as close as they were before because they don't have to be in the water. Oh, do we only have four bacteria? We must have. Okay. No problem. Put you in here. You in here. Okay, so let's go get stuff to make two more tier four tree spreaders. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the tier three. Son of a bitch. That's a nice problem to have. Oh, geez. Okay. I think we can do it. We might as well, right? Why not? Dang. We jumped from tier one to tier three. Essentially. Um. Yeah. Okay. All the stuff, right? I, I might, I might move some of this a little further out now too, because here again we don't need to be right by that water. Oh my gosh! Okay, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? Um. Well, okay, do I have... I do have enough to put a, a couple of tier two or tier threes down. I should have looked at that while we were still down there, but I didn't think about it. So there you go. Sue me. Let's do 
let's start. Yeah, we'll start the forest right down here. But again, I'm going to spread these out just a little more. Um, we can have one. Well, no, yeah, let's put this more like there because these have a really wide range. We just have to make sure that the optimizer can get to all of them. Can we make a second one? Yes. Put this one in here. Can we make a third one? Yes. Okay, we'll put this one here. Oh, we already got the thing in there. We cannot make a fourth one because we need uh, the tier two fort. And we're definitely going to have to move the optimizer too. So let's grab this. And we'll put the optimizer maybe right about here-ish. Okay, so it's hitting those three. All right, good. So we need materials to make three more of those. Well, ultimately we want to make eight, but we'll get the three made first. Let's run over to our our bacteria uh, facility here and grab a, a batch of that. And we'll wait for the next little batch to finish too. That's all it'll do. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's pin the tier three. Okay, so we need three supers, which we have. We need three bacteria. Let's put the rest in here. One, two, three. We need three tree bark, which we have. And three zeo, which we have. And six tier two furt. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we still have enough to make a, another one, too. This seed should be ready now, which it is. And I think we're good to put the other two down. Before we do that, though, let's top off our food. And our water. Yeah, see, these spread out quite a ways. Um, let's see if we can get one more up here. And we'll put one out here. And one over here. And if we have to move the optimizer, we can. Um, and there goes our power. Okay. You're hitting all of those. And that. Beautiful. Let's go make another fusion generator. Two, three, four, five is all we need of those, and we need four super allies. We're gonna have to break one of these down. Not a problem. Okay. 
Let's do a save. We can do a better job of getting that center. That's close enough. Okay, so... Uh, with six tier three tree spreaders, our O2 is now at 38 million PPQS. Good God, that's a huge increase. 38 million from 3 million and change. Wow. And we can still put two more down there for that optimizer, you know, to hit as well, uh, which we should do. Um, so yeah, let me, oh, there we go. Okay. We got the Osmium Rod. Beautiful. All right. I'll tell you what, I will do the other two tier three tree spreaders down at the, it's time for a super storm, baby. All right. Let's get, let's just empty our inventory all together. We're gonna break the rules just because we're right by the base and we want to maximize as much super as we can do. Let's see if we can fill up our entire backpack here. And hopefully we don't get killed. Um here we go. So hard to see right now. Um, damn it, we're wasting time. I can't see those. A problem. Here we go. It's so loud too. Couple that rolled down the hill here. Let's grab those. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We have Emily up on the roof. Not that I can immediately see. Here's one. Oh, it just disappeared. There's one here. One here. Yeah, I guess this is a good argument for not having a, a lawn in front of your house. Um, you know, for, because it's just so hard to see this stuff. Oh, good. Fusion energy cells. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where else to look at this point. We could maybe drop down into the canyon and see if there's a, a couple down here, maybe. Yes. Uh, uh, no. Not that I can tell. Okay, that's probably going to be about it then because I think too much time's gone by now. Well, you know, the thing is, though, is <clears throat> we're not going to have any trouble getting super moving forward. We just aren't. So it's not that big of a deal for us to... Uh, 
Because uh, well, what I was thinking was maybe we should get rid of our lawn in front of our house. But I like our lawn. It's beautiful. So it's just not that big a deal. I think we're going to leave the lawn where it is. Now, I wanted to see something. I don't think the game will let me do this. There's just not really any room for me to send an extractor here. Let's go look at the other entrance to this cave. Because this is an Osmium cave, but... Um... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We might be able to get an extractor in here and get it, have it get Oz. Because there's enough dry land there. That would be beautiful if, if we could get, have that that close to our base, you know? Okay, well, that's a decent supply of super. Doesn't suck. Does not suck at all. Um, all right, so... <laughs> Look, you guys! We're already... How did I miss that? Oh, my God, we're 20% of the way into breathable. How did I miss that? I missed it. Obviously, I missed it. Oh, wow. Okay. We no longer have to carry an O2 bottle around with us, ever. The only time we would do that is if we felt like we were going to be underwater for a really, really, really long time. And there is one place on the map where you are underwater for a really, really, really long time. Um, But for every other situation, we no longer have to carry O2 with us. Oh, God. It's such a beautiful thing. I'm so excited. Okay, so, um, can we fit those in there? We can. Look at that. Full chest of, of super with rods. Oh, okay, this is fun. Excuse me. Uh, this is so fun. Wow, I can't believe we missed that. That's like the most important milestone in this whole damn game. <laughs> we missed it. <laughs> I'm sure it popped up, but I was obviously so busy doing other things. I, I mean, I'll... Did that pop up during the superstorm? Yeah, you know what? It's moving that fast. I'll bet you it did. That's probably why I didn't realize it. You guys probably know by watching the screen, but I, I didn't notice it. Oh, man. We can breathe, guys. No more worrying about oxygen. Oh, I love it. One of my favorite milestones in this game. We can breathe. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so... The osmium rod popped. I did notice that. What we're going to do now is we're going to make that rod and make our first tier three extractor and see if we can pop it right down in that cave below our base. If we can do that, that's going to be awesome. We need a super and an iridium rod. And uh, what else do we need? Three titanium. Good, because we have lots of extra titanium. All right, let's see if this will work. Oh, that's so awesome. Don't have to worry about O2 anymore. We'll keep the O2 filter, uh, you know, attached, because we have room for it, and it will help us when we, for those times when we do need to go underwater. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Oh, come on, game. Really? You're killing me, Smalls. You're fucking killing me. Ugh. All right. I guess the game doesn't want us to use this as an osmium extraction cave. That's disappointing. I was kind of stoked that that might work, but it doesn't. Well, if... Here's what we're going to actually do. Uh, I've, haven't, I've been holding off doing this because we just really didn't need to. But we should really launch a... A satellite so we can open up the map and we, so we need to do two we need to do the satellite and we need to do the map uh, there's two different ones I don't remember what the hell they're called let's go look I should probably make the the tier 2 pinning thingy too so we can pin more than one recipe all right so yeah the map information rocket we want to do that and we want to do looks like I think we need to find more microchips to get the better GPS, but this will this is fine. It, all that does is affect how far in we can zoom. Um, okay, so uh, 
Let's do this one first because, I mean, we can launch this, but without this one, I don't, I don't think we can see the map at all. We have to have a GPS satellite up there. Whoops. And it is dark out. Goodness. Okay, I'm going to go get the stuff to, to launch those satellites. Hey, the drone station just popped for us. Oh, that's amazing. That's another huge, huge milestone. Um, all right, anyway, I had to go AFK for a bit, and I came back, and uh, so what? We're, we're, we're making these GPS rockets. Um... So we need three of those, and we need a rocket, which is an iridium rod and two uranium and something else. Uh, another super. Yeah, okay. Nope. Right here. Okay, and then we also need to make two uh, compass chips. So silicon mag and two alums, aluminums. Um, silicon magnesium, two aluminum. Oh, I'm completely out of silicon? Oh, shit. Okay. Fortunately, we have a few in there. Let's grab all of these, actually. Um, oh. Yeah. We need more aluminum. And you know what? Actually, we need to make three of these, so let's... Because the other one's going to require one as well. Uh, so just another, need another mag. Magnesium. There we go. Yep. Okay, so let's get the first rocket launched. And this is the one that'll open up... Let us actually use the map. And then the other one that will show us where we can put down the extractors on the map. And that's kind of the one I actually wanted to see. Um, yep. Okay, let's launch this. Okay. Now let's pin this. I, I can't actually make the uh, the tier two pinner because it requires Oz. Oh, so does this. Shit. Okay, we can't make this one yet either. Oh, man. All right. Well, then I'm going to just go off of memory. For the Osmium Extractor Caves, we can definitely do the big cave. Um, you know, the one that crosses over into to the crater and also to the arch biome. But I, oh, and I, and we can also do the one that's over by the, by the silver, uh, or by the spires and the silver alien biome. That one's going to probably be closer to us. In the long run, we're probably going to put one in both locations, but yeah, let's, uh, okay. Let's keep this in here for, for now. And... Oh, food, hello. Or no, water, hello. That was close. That would have sucked if we would have lost that stuff. Huh? That would have been fucking rage crit time, man. <laughs> um, It would have been my own dumb fault, too. Of course, when is it not, right? Most of the time, it's my own dumb fault. Put you in there. Okay, so um, I want to go up here for a second. And I want to make sure you're not trying to make something that requires silicon. We'll put you back to mutagen for now. 
Um, sure, make mutagen. Because silicon, we are all of a sudden, we all of a sudden have a silicon crisis here. Uh, let's put you in the main silicon bin. Oh, you know what we could do? Oh, yeah. Let's just take these down. We can rebuild them later. That'll get us some Oz back. Beautiful. Okay. So... So, yeah, we can actually make this rocket now. Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, we got, some, we got some super rods back, too. Put two of those back in there. Grab the... This again. And then we just need to make the rocket. So, an iridium... Two uranium and another super, I think it was. There we go. Okay, now we can make this rocket. Let's do it. Yeah, we can. We don't need those um, auto craft. Oh shit, uh, auto crafters right now. If we need them again in the future, we'll just make them remake them. Okay, let's make the map information rocket. And off you go. It looks like the top of the Space Needle in Seattle, Washington. I'm from uh, Washington State, so that's why I would notice something like that. All right, now the map is available to us as well as, well, the map has been available to us now, but now we can also see where the resource caves are uh, for the purposes of putting extractor down. Now, I am going to save the game because even with my frame rate locked into 60 frames, I still, this map still has crashed the game on me before, so let's hope it doesn't. All right. Oh, wow, that's big. So we can only zoom out to the T2 level, which is there. Uh, we need the tier 3 and the tier 4 to zoom all the way out, but that's fine. This will do the trick for us. So why is this showing... that we can put an extractor in that cave when we clearly cannot. Mm. Maybe this doesn't explicitly mean extract. Oh, look, you can actually see the water flowing on the map. That's cool. Maybe this doesn't explicitly mean an extractor cave. It just means there's osmium in that cave. That's what I think's going on there. Okay, so... This is the cave I was talking of. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, sulfur. Iridium, sulfur. Yeah. Okay, so this is the big cave that goes off in multiple locations. So we can put one there if we wanted to. What is this? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. That's new. Do we have a legend? That's that's where the mushroom biome is. I wonder if that's like a warden icon or something. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Okay, well anyway, um so so this one is our first option and it is that far away from our base the other option is this one hmm they're almost it's almost like they're equal distance from the base that's a straight shot through there to get to it this is the spiders biome this is the aluminum fields you know what though we've got the We've got the teleporters now, too. I mean, we're not going to be able to make a whole bunch of those right off the bat because they're super expensive, but eventually, you know, uh, I think, I think we'll put it in here. Because the good thing about this one is we can get to it from two different sides. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, let's save the game. And the map didn't crash, so that's always a good thing. We need to get uh, three titanium. 
Do we have any in overflow? Yeah. Okay, let's run over there and plop down our first, our, our osmium extractor. We have a water. We, we're no longer required to take an O2 with us, and our food is maxed out. So, oh, look at our forest down here. Very cool. I like, oh, geez, this is thick. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, I did put the tree spreaders right next to me, uh, really close to each other, so there is that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we got a forest. You wanted a forest? You got a forest. Wow, that is neat, though. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what the hell I was saying. Completely lost track my train of thought. So what else is new? <sighs> Let's see. We're putting down the osmium thingy which will give us a uh, a steady supply of Oz. So we'll, and we're going to we're going to need to do the same thing for the super. We're going to need to do one for zeolite. We're going to need to do one for uranium. Probably do one for iridium. And the reason for that is because one of our first major production chains is going to be fusion cells. And we need to make pulsar quartz to make fusion cells. And we need all those ores to do that. So I think what we'll do is we'll just put... Uh, I'm, I'm going to set this up very similar to what we did in Season 1. We'll position the osmium um, extractor just right here. Here, let's grab that. And actually, I, I haven't... I haven't even come in here and picked it off the floor, which we let's do that for the return trip. Uh, what am I missing? Are you kidding me? Did I come all the way out here without a super rod? I did. <sighs> I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Any chance there's a super rod in here? No, but you know what? That's good stuff. We'll take it. Actually, hold on. Let's not make this a completely wasted trip. Let's let's do, in fact, pick the uh, osmium off the cave floor. So at least we're bringing it back with us, and then we can use it to make the next tier, uh, tier, t uh, tier three, sorry, extractor. So that way it's not a completely wasted trip. And that way I'm only a partial numbskull instead of a full numbskull. I was going to say, we can even pop into our little shack there to refresh our O2, but guess what? We don't have to do anymore. <laughs> we don't have to refresh our O2 anymore. Oh, it's just lovely. Okay, I'd grab that sulfur except for that there's, I think there's more Oz to pick up, so we want to prioritize that. Okay, now we transition from the Oz cave to the Neolite cave. Um, let's leave that there for the moment. The thing about the neolite cave, though, is you can't actually pick it up off the ground in here, but you can put an extractor down, unless they change something. Uh, it doesn't look like they did. So we'll be putting a few neolite extractors in here when it's all said and done. The chevron butterfly lava larva. Nice. There's another chest there. Oh yeah, there's still ice in this cave. That neolite doesn't count because that's a root neolite. Okay, I think this goes out into the the crater. Yes, it does. The crater should be clear now. Probably has been for a long time. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Uh, we got some new stuff over there to explore. We got that very mysterious area that I never really... I, I just barely took a peek at it at the very end of Season 1. Uh, so looking forward to that. That's the place where we're going to need to actually bring some oxygen bottles with us because it's a big underwater area. Okay. Let's go through the 
other leg here that goes out into the arches biome. I don't think we'll find any more Oz on the floor, but we might. No. Okay, so yeah, this is the arches biome. I don't even think we've been here yet in this playthrough. It looks pretty much like it has all along. There's some crates there. This goes off into another pulsar quartz cave and eventually links up with that that underwater area that I talked about. And then we have another wreck down here that we'll hit later. And it's got a bunch of stuff in there that we can salvage. Come on. Drink. There you go. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with this now. We'll we'll hit this later. Okay. So yeah, we, we have enough Oz here. How much Oz do we have? We have 15. That's not enough to make two more rods, but it's enough to make one more rod. So that's okay. Grab more Zeo along the way. This little passageway goes down into the wetlands or lowlands area. Which we we haven't come this way, but we've been down here before. We looted that satellite several ep Oh, look at this, you guys. This is gorgeous. There's a lot more vegetation down here than there was in early access. Oh my word. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. Look at this. Wow. We, we had even talked about um, having a base down here in uh, Season 1, you know, when we started Season 2. I don't think I would put a production base down here, but a living base just to have a beautiful place to live. This could be a, a really big candidate for that. All right. This is the uranium cave, or one of the two uranium caves, which we might... Um, end up putting a an extractor and we're going to put one in one of the caves maybe even ultimately both I don't know man that's just gorgeous let's go take a look at this canyon over here because this is kind of what I've earmarked for our actual home Whoa. Oh, this is pretty. This is so neat. Um, what I'm what I want to do is I want to put a base. And you know, now that we have teleporters, once we get them in place, it it'll be just a breeze, you know, to to go back and forth to where we need to go. But uh, my I my kind of what's in my head is that we we put we build ourselves a nice little base right at the top of the cliff that just looks down into that gorgeous gorgeous canyon. Oh man, that's so neat. Maybe we could even put it here so it kind of looks out over the waterfall, the lake there, and then down there. I don't know. We'll fi we'll figure that out when the time comes. But it, as neat as it is down in the wetlands area, I still think this is the better view of the two. I still think this wins the prize, man. Hmm. Love it. Here's our original base when we first started. We don't even really need that there anymore now. Uh, but I don't have enough room in my inventory to take it down either, so... 
Okay, anyway, let's go back to the base, drop this stuff off, grab a super alloy rod, and go all the way back and put down the osmium extractor. And then I need to decide what the next highest priority tier 3 extractor needs to be. And I gotta think about that. I'm not really sure. Maybe the maybe the super alloy one. Yeah, I don't know. Here. But let's put this stuff away. And make sure we grab one of these, because that's what we forgot to take with us. We don't need the uh, zeolite. We don't need the sulfur or the seeds. <laughs> We're already almost at the fish stage. Look how fast that's moving. That's just crazy. It's it's that 28,000. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. How did that drop? I thought that was a 38 million. Now it's 28 million. Did I forget to set up a... That was, wasn't that 38 million? How did it drop? I don't understand. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's not really a problem. I just, I'd like to know why it dropped by 10 million. What are, did I p not put down like a sixth tier three tree spreader? I could have sworn I did six of them. And I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Let's see. We'll put the mutie here. Um, we don't need. Yeah, we don't need the fertilizer. I think we just looted that. And I don't think we need the bioplastic either. Definitely don't need the iron. Not for the extractor anyway. So um, yeah, go here. Oh, well, yeah, actually, let's pin that. There we go. That's even better. We could make that other pin thing now, but uh, let's refresh this. Hopefully the gas, the tier two gas extractor is not too far off. Um. All right, let's see. Let's harvest you two. I feel like I'm just, you know, out of all the things that I wanted to do, I feel like I'm just falling further and further behind. Not not in a bad way, really, because, again, there's no rush. <laughs> We've got all the time in the world, but it's just, uh, it's like, okay, I want to do this. Oh, okay, I want to do this. Oh, okay, I want to do this. And then something new pops up, you know, kind of thing. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is we are going to make our first batch of high quality food and we're just going to do it by hand the first time but we will automate this let's do it mm, delicious beans and honey baby beans and honey it's good stuff Absolutely good stuff. Okay, so um, let's put the rest of these back in the food crate. Do we have room for them, though? We have room for two. We'll, we'll just keep one with us, because why the hell not, right? We need to put the, uh, these guys back in here. Okay, so uh, the rocket and the iron can go away. I, let's go ahead and make enough stuff for two. Tier 3 extractors. So we need another Oz rod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need another super rod. And an iridium rod. And three more titanium. There, so that should be enough to make two tier three extractors, right? Right. Got some water with us. Got some food with us. We don't need O2. Um, all right, so let's see. 
you can't, uh, the game won't let you put down an extractor for for pulsar quartz. You have to make that. Uh, and the recipe for that will unlock for us at some point. Probably sooner rather than later. I'm still baffled as to why my O2 dropped by 10 million points. What did I do wrong? It's, it's kind of hard to tell if there's six tree spreaders out there because the forest, you know, you can't see the tree spreaders for all the trees kind of thing. <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, yeah, so that's weird. I don't know. I'm sure there's an explanation for it. But let's go get this in place. I guess, you know, I, I'm going to want the Super 1 anyways, so I guess we could put the Super 1 in place now. Two. But like I said, we're going to need one for uranium. We're going to want one for sulfur. We're going to want one for iridium. We're going to want one for zeolite. Maybe we'll... Yeah, let's just do the zeolite one next. Because they're both in the same cave. Not in the exact same spot, but in the same cave. And I ended up actually making like three or four zeolite ones in season one. Just because that became the bottleneck. So I needed to produce more of it. Okay, we want to tell this to get osmium, and that's all it will get. Fan freaking tastic. You know what I didn't do? I didn't check our power, but I th I think we'll be okay. All right, now we're gonna fly over to the zeolite cave, and we're gonna put down one for zeolite. And I'm going to keep this one all the way over here because um, because we're probably going to put more across here. Here, let's just drink from here because cave water is tasty. Actually, most groundwater is cave water, right? So, yeah, we'll probably put two or three in here in the long run when it's all said and done, but of course we can't afford to do that right now. So we're going to need a tier 3 extractor for super, we're going to need a tier 3 extractor for uranium, and one for iridium. Um, probably we'll want one for sulfur as well. If for no other reason, just because it's going to be more efficient to do it that way. We'll stick our Iridium Tier 3 in this cave. Um, we'll probably plop it right here, in fact, when the time comes. And, uh, I mean, I could even come in here and pick the Iridium off the floor, but let's loot this. Oh, good. We got another blueprint chip. And... That goes to a secret area up top, but I think we'll wait on that for now. But if we find any other crates just in this starter area, we can grab them. There's no reason not to now. Though I, I think I have grabbed most of the crates in the starter area. I wonder if there are any left under the lake. I can't say for a certainty that I've grabbed everything that was down there. I know I grabbed some of them. This is so neat, too, you know, that they have the uh, aquatic vegetation now. Oh, here we go. All right, well, that's... We probably checked that at some other point and already... You know, the game already determined what was going to be in there. Oh, man, I love this. Where's the, um, oh, the ship's over that way. Okay. Let's 
Just gonna, you know, do a quick sweep of the lake here to see if they're... Okay, here we go. Let's get... open this guy up. Alright, I don't think we hit that one. That does fill us up, though. That's pretty. Um, is there a chest? Yep, there is a chest here. Uh, it's just basic stuff, though. Okay, uh, let's do this. Let's go drop off the basic stuff here. We're going to be coming back to the ship with the fusion core and also with the tier two. Oh, we just got a little guy in here. Uh, okay, here. Let's drop you. We can... Oh, we could do our chips. Yeah. Let's just do our chips. Inventory... Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so put all the basics. Actually, let's keep the silicon because we know we're, we're low on that. I'm going to even just keep the cheap-ass food here because we might be coming by here at some point and I'll need food. Let's keep the uranium, cobalt. I think I'll keep the aluminum as well. All right, let's check these chips. Display case, all right. That's just decorative stuff, but we'll we'll do that in our, our nice home. Okay, that allows us to have a map uh, built into our tool so we don't need a screen. Uh, okay. Nice. Let's go back down and get this crate out of here. I like to clean them up so that way I, you know, because otherwise I'll come by later and say, hey, did I ever check that crate? You know, kind of thing. And then again, we'll drop off the basic stuff, which is this, this, and this. Let's go ahead and just top off with one of those. Oh, nice. We got the aquarium. That means that must mean we, we have probably passed over into the fish stage. New tree seed. Okay. Let's grab you. Okay. Let's uh, keep looking in the lake and see if there are any more crates left. Like that one, for example. Uh, we Obviously, we checked that because it wouldn't have a golden trophy in it. I must have stashed that in there a long, long, long time ago. Because you only find those in golden crates. Alright, nothing over that way. Tier 3 muties. Nice. Oh, you know what? We never... I think we still have a couple of items in that crate that was in the hidden area where... Uh, Iklos? Is that what that guy's name is? Okay, we're going to need to get some O2 here. Oh, there's going to be a blue crate over here, too. I never did. I, I'm sure I never got this one. Okay. We'll grab all of that. Okay, that just leads back into the spire zone. Let's go over here.
Just looking, see if we can spot one more of those crates. Okay, I think the secret area was right over here. Let's get some more air. over here yeah right here okay oh yeah we left pulsar quartz and a chip in here my goodness okay um let's put magnesium and cobalt in there and i guess we'll take a cobalt back and we don't need to break that chest down because I won't be coming back in there and saying, mm, did I get that crate? I'll remember that, most likely. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Most likely I will. Is that a crate? No, that's just a rock. Okay, I think we've probably looted all the crates in the starter area. Well, at least that we're underneath the lake. Anyway. There were a couple of crates over here, but I th think I've looted them. Um, there's actually going to be a, a few crates down in the labyrinth, too, now that I think about it. Is there a crate down here? Yes, there is. Uh, it's just got the basics in it, though. And no silicon. Okay, we're going to leave that there. Maybe I'll come back for it someday. Anything down in here? I don't think so. Got some storm coming in. Hopefully it's not a super because I have no room to pick it up. I think this is just a normal purple storm. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Oh boy. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to ramp up this episode here and um, we have more tier three extractors to put down. We have more tier three tree spreaders to put down. And we've done a pretty good job of getting started with our forest down there. So the, there's that. at the bees the bees knees and uh yeah so where are we at we're already three percent almost four percent of the way into the fish stage so that means we're going to need to make ourselves an aquarium and you know what we might put it right in the middle of the floor here just as a nice little display uh so we'll do that in the next episode uh, oh, we need to do the butterfly biome too, right? So we'll do that in the next episode. And um, circuit boards are right around the corner, and then after that, pulsar quartz. And then this is kind of new. This is most of this is newer stuff. Not all of it, but a lot of it's newer stuff. That is pretty darn close. We need that to get plankton. And uh, what are we looking at here for biome? Eight point three. KT. Okay, that's a little ways off. Not that we need it per that much, but silk generator fabric. Uh, I'm I'm wanting the outdoor farm for sure, because that's going to really al uh, allow us to ramp things up in terms of any kind of food or veg vegetable production. And of course, animals isn't going to do anything yet until we start working on um, fish and amphibians and that sort of thing. But yeah, we're, we're cruising along, man. We are really, really cruising along here. So it's looking good. Don't think we have any extra messages. We do. 
Our sensors detected that the conditions on your planet should ensure wild larvae on the surface. Place the larvae in the incubator to breed endemic species of bees and butterflies. You need these species to fulfill your mission and increase the speed of the terraformation process. You are being closely watched. Let us remind you that you shouldn't use communication devices to contact anyone other than Sentinel Corp. What do you mean? You said I couldn't contact you either. Doesn't that say... Wasn't there a message that said, do not contact Sentinel Corp? But whatever. It's all just for fun and games anyways. Until somebody gets hurt. Okay, so guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.